what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to talk about i know what you did last summer in this video here today so jennifer love hewitt has basically confirmed that she's in talks to return once more without outright saying that yes i'm 100 percent signed on this was with et online entertainment tonight in which she was asked about i know what you did last summer three uh, i'm gonna keep calling it that even though it's the fourth film in the franchise she is terrified about the possibility of returning as she puts it because it's 26 years later and she's stepping back into a character that she first stepped into when she was a young star now even with fear according to this article hewitt said that should the third movie move forward which we know that it is she's ready to bring julie james back with 26 years of angst knowledge kickassery which i'm turning into a word according to her and have some fun it says here news broke in february 2023 that a third movie was in development with hewitt and her co-star freddie prince jr set to return as julie james and as ray bronson so we recently learned that the film is coming out when i think july 18th of 2025 uh, she went on to say it's honestly wild to even think about if it truly comes together I don't even know how I'm gonna feel except extremely overwhelmed and grateful But it's wild to think about it's nice to know that people are excited at the possibility I think it'd be really fun if it came together As for what she hopes to bring to the character more than two decades later This is what she said. I think the big thing that I would like to do is maybe Is maybe tone my mom arms a bit That would be nice. I think there's power in being older there's power in having gone off and had three kids. There's a sense of like, I can do anything now. The vulnerability that was Julie James in one and two definitely doesn't exist in this one. I'm excited to just show her grown up. The adult version of Julie James has got to go nuts. I don't know who she's fighting, but whoever it is is not going to stand a chance. Between me and a stunt double, we got this. That's all I can say. Now... I believe also somewhere in this interview, if I listen closely, maybe I'm maybe I'm imagining it, but the way it's clipped together and edited sounds like she has also taken the Nev Campbell approach and decided, you know what, I'm not going to play Julie James if you're going to kill her. But the thing about it is that's fine for you to know. Why do we have to know that? Because now that's now that's kind of like putting a damper on maybe any possible danger she finds herself in i wasn't really going to expect julie james to die anyway but you know it's just can we play with the idea <laughs> julie james isn't at the same status as a sydney prescott where i would argue she's really earned the right to just not ever be killed she hasn't earned that she's only been in two movies they can kill her and i wouldn't give a rat's ass but it sounded like Jennifer Love Hewitt was saying, you know what, I'm not going to do this if you kill her. And the way she's talking about it also is very, very funny and interesting. She mentions being in preliminary talks, doesn't outright say she's back, but the energy, body language all but tells us that she is ready to sign that dotted line. That's what I'm taking away from this interview. Uh, she looks really good. Cannot wait to see her back as Julie James. And we know that Julie James herself is supposed to be crucial to this story. And the ongoing idea for me and a lot of you who have been watching and keeping up with this is this idea that what will happen is that it's going to expose the lie they've been telling in which they had no idea why Ben was wanting to kill them. The lie they told the police and I guess committed to it. And we're going to see how that lie has impacted a lot of their lives. And that lie is now going to come back to bite them in the ass. That's what I see them taking. The That's the narrative approach I see them taking. It's going to impact their kids. It's going to impact, impact whoever might be still around connected to the Shivers family. If anyone is still around, I've even put up the idea that the, that a Shivers child, a new child, is going to be the killer in this upcoming film. We'll just have to wait and see. But it was a nice interview from Jennifer Love Hewitt. She again looks amazing. I cannot wait to see her back as Julie James. I'll have to revisit these first two movies because I haven't watched I Know What You Did Last Summer in maybe a year or two at this point. Probably a year. Uh, I just revisited them not too long ago, a few years back. But I'll have to revisit them again closer to when this movie comes out. I don't want to do it right now because I just want them to be fresh in my mind. 
re-experience them and to go into this third movie with those two in mind now the other thing i want to talk about really quick is this post from Leigh mckendrick who we know is writing i know what you did last summer in which she didn't confirm or deny if carla would be back to a fan that was responding to her so she responded with that lip sealed emoji with the zipper and they got everyone in the frenzy when I posted it because we're looking into it as though, oh, well, you didn't deny it. So that must mean she's in talks. Brandy must be in talks to return as Carla, which if that's true, so be it. If she doesn't, then she doesn't. I just also think, again, even if Brandy doesn't come back, there needs to be some sort of dialogue that would confirm to us that the movie is keeping. I still know what you did last summer, Canon. I know that people don't some people do not like that movie i again have admitted that it's inferior to the original however nothing about it all together is worth ignoring nothing about it all together the logistics of it all of that stuff yes i get it it's way over the over the threshold of stuff being realistic and believable compared to the original and the whole setup of them getting to that getting to that vacation island or wherever they went but still at the end of the day Nothing about it is that out of the realm of possibility that we need to now ignore. And Carla was an amazing character. If Brandy doesn't return in this one, hell, Brandy could always return in the third one or a fourth one or in reality, a fifth one if they want to do that. But at the end of the day, we don't have the official confirmation if Brandy is back or not. It was just the writer having fun with someone who responded saying, do the right thing about Carla. And I don't think Carla is going to be back. That's just me. Uh, if she's back, she's back. I don't really think she's going to be back. But the lip sealing does lead me to think that Brandy is at least in talks to reprise the role. So hopefully this will work out for those of you who are excited to see Carla back teaming up with Julie once again. And just in general to see Brandy and Jennifer Love Hewitt interact all these years later. That would be very cool. And I know it would be nostalgic for everyone who got to experience I Still Know What You Did Last Summer in theaters all those years ago. But you guys can let me know what you think about these comments from Jennifer Love Hewitt down in the comment section below. What do you think about the possibility of Brandy returning as Carla? And what would you like to see from Brandy actually? Because I know I've seen some speculate that she should have kids. While others have stated that she should be doing some type of... Well, no, this was me and my friends who were talking about this, talking about the possibility of Brandy starring as Carla doing a podcast or something. I was talking about this with one of my friends who is obsessed with Brandy and the idea of her starring as Carla again, doing a podcast of sorts. But you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.